Tommy Pepper. I'm Ben Pepper. I'm Joey Pepper. I'm Davy Pepper. And I'm Francie Pepper. Happily ever after. Gee, isn't that swell? Paul and Tom knew each other ever since they were little kids. They grew up together and now they're married. Seven. I tell you a six. Seven. Six. Seven. Davy. Joey. Seven. Six. Seven. Six. Knock that off. That's what you get for riding on the lawn. You were told not to. Are you hurt? No, I'm all right. Mm, just the same. It was seven. It was not. Stop this arguing now. All right. But it was six. Come, children. Ready for your milk. Where's Fonzie? I don't know. Where's Fonzie, Davy? How should I know? Don't look at me. I ain't seen her. She was down at the gate about an hour ago, watching the organ grinder and the monkey. Gee, Willikers. What if she was kidnapped? What if she don't come back? What if she's been killed? Gee, Willikers. Joey, don't talk like that. Well, come on, let's all look for her. Fonzie! 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 Bronzy! 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 Here, Bronzy! Bronzy! Here, Bronzy! 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 The pie will do you no good. You have to have your back to do your dirt. I told you not to play in the mud, but you, but you just wouldn't listen. You're, uh, you're, just, uh, you're, uh, you're a naughty child. And look at your ear. Here, Bronzy. Here, Bronzy. Bronzy. Here, Bronzy. What in the world are you doing there? I beg your pardon, sir, but Bronzy, what if she doesn't come back? What if she's been kidnapped? What are you talking about? You know little Bronzy, sir. Well, Bronzy, what about her? She's lost. Lost? Where'd she go? That, sir, is what I don't know. Well, why don't you do something about it? I am doing something, sir. I'm calling. Well, call the police. Police! Yeah. Oh, are they lost too, sir? Oh, I beg your pardon. I'll, I'll call them, sir. Yeah. Bronzy! What's the matter with Fonzie? She's lost. She walkers. What if she's been kidnapped? What if she don't come back? What if she's been killed? Oh, what on earth are you talking about? Fonzie, Mummy, she's lost. We can't find her. Have you looked by the swimming pool? Swimming pool? 
Kitty Walkers? Well, what if she fell in? Well, what if she can't get out? What if she's drowned? Yeah, I'll make some way to somebody's daughter. My goodness. The water must be too cold for you. It's really turning blue. Maybe I should ought to give you a shower. Gee, Graham, we didn't know she was gone. I hope she hasn't wandered off anywhere. We've looked everywhere for her. Well, now, don't worry, children. We'll find her. Martin's notifying the police now. Come on, Polly. Yeah. Phronsie! 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 Oh, oh Mr. King. Oh, hello, Benbridge. Say, if you fellas want to see me on business, I can't see you. I'll see you in my office in the morning. Oh, but I'm afraid this can't wait, Mr. King. We don't have to wait. Phronsie's lost. Yeah. Phronsie! Franzi! Oh, uh, who is Franzi? My baby. Your baby? Yeah, no, not my baby, you fool. Mrs. Pepper's baby, Franzi. But, J.H., this is a matter of vital importance. Finding Franzi is more important to me. I'll see you tomorrow. Franzi! He doesn't realize it, but he's on the verge of bankruptcy. Well, what did the police say? They didn't say, sir. I'm afraid we shall have to write them a letter. Are you mad? Yes, sir. What? Quite mad, sir. By now, I don't know who's lost. Davy! You're being punished for flooding the bathroom. All right. Good night, Mommy. Good night. cookies. I can eat them because I'm being punished for filling the bathroom. Are you sorry for what you did? Uh-huh. And I'll never do it again. I promise. Cross my heart. Well, then in that case, you can have your cookies and milk. Are you sure? Positive. Thank you, Polly. sandwich and milk. Well, we was going to give it to Phronsie. Yeah, that's what we was going to do. But Phronsie's being punished. Well, can't she be punished some other way without starving her to death? Come on now, get out. Come on. Let's go to bed. Good night. Just coffee, Martin. I'm in a hurry this morning. Well, children, did you all sleep well last night? Oh, fine. Really? Uh -huh. But I didn't. I dreamed all night. I dreamed I was giving my dolly a bath and she turned all blue. Why, Phronsie, that happened yesterday. My goodness, and I thought I'd dream that. 
Grandpa Payne, what day is today? Friday. And what day is the day after tomorrow? Sunday. And, that, and then that's tomorrow Saturday? That's right. Didn't you say you are going to take us on a picnic Saturday? That's right, I did. Are you going to? You just bet I am, and we're going to have a wonderful time. Are we going to go fishing? Of course we are. And I'm going to go dig worms. Can you sit still and finish your breakfast, Davy? The worms can wait. Oh, no, they can't, my. They'll wiggle go away. Well, children, tomorrow we'll be off on our picnic, and we're going to have a grand time. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bronzy, how many times must I tell you not to lick the butter off your bread? Hey, butter jam. Daddy, Joey, here's Mom. Where? 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 Oh, it wiggled away. Hey, Polly, Jasper, look. No hands! <laughs> <laughs> well, I did it yesterday. I'm only asking a 30-day extension on the loan. I'm sure we'll strike copper in that time. I'm sorry, G.H., but I can only do so much. The rest is up to the board of directors, and they insist upon the loan being paid when due. Now, they might not have been so persistent, if the Townsend Company wasn't willing to buy you out. Can't you see, Decker, there must be copper in the mine. Otherwise, why would Townsend want it? I don't know. Possibly because they've plenty of money and can stand the speculation. But you've come to the end of your rope. You have every dollar stuck in there. Don't you realize that even the home that you're living in doesn't belong to you anymore? Oh, come on, J.H., don't be a stubborn old mule. I'm your friend, old man. You have a chance here to sell out, why not do it? Don't let your pride ruin you. Uh, I guess this is the satisfaction Townsend has been looking for. I'm sorry I can't say I hope he doesn't find copper in the mine, because I know it's there, plenty of it. We'll have to have the Pepper Girl's signature before we can complete the sale. I'll have her come right over. You'd better have her mother come along to witness a signature as her guardian. Hello. Martin? Have Mrs. Pepper and Polly come over to my office at once. Yes, it's very important. J.H. J.H. Pack us some water, please. Yes. Here, just a moment. Here, Harvey, take this. I'll call the doctor. Take him over on the couch. Well? He's in pretty bad shape. You mustn't disturb him now, son. He'll be all right. What's the matter? I think she's a loser. Shh. I won't stay in it. But Grandpa King is sick. Why don't they give him castor oil? Polly, oh, that new nurse won't let me in. Alphonse, you must be very quiet. Can I go in now? No, darling, you can't. Grandpa King is sick and he must be very quiet. Well, I can be as quiet as a nurse. Maybe more. How is Graham? Will he be all right? Is there anything I can do? There's nothing anyone can do at the present time. Rest and quiet are all that he needs. Good night. Don't worry, Jasper. The doctor says he'll be all right. I know he will. Guess I am sort of silly. Gee, Polly, you're swell. Good night.
danger. So he can take us on a picnic, he promised. But because he's good, and I love him. Oh, man. Phronsie. Honey, you mustn't do that. You know Mr. King must have quiet. Well, it's only loud enough so Lord can hear my prayer. Grandpa King said prayers only do good. And if you let me see him when I want to, I'll pray for you, too. All right, dear. Now, you run along to bed, and I'll let you see Mr. King tomorrow. Gee, you ain't mean like I thought you was. Good night. Grandpa King is all well again. How do you know? Because last night I prayed he should get well, so he must be. Good morning, children. Good morning, Mommy. Good morning, Mother. How are you? Fine. I am sleep good last night. The oh. ginger woke on me, but I didn't dream. Will you run along now and have breakfast? No, I do. Yeah. I do. Ain't you and Polly going to have breakfast yet? Pretty soon. You run along. Oh. Do I have to have cereal? Of course you do. It'll make you big and strong. Well, I'm big and strong. Good morning. Come right in. Good morning, Mr. King. How are you? Are you feeling all right? Oh, much better. That's good. Why don't you sit down? Uh, Polly, I've been thinking things over and... I've decided to sell the mine. Sell the mine? Yes, I... Well, we made a mistake. We thought there was copper in the mine, but there isn't. Townsend, the old fool, he thinks there's copper in the mine. He wants to buy it. Well, we'll sell. What do you say? All right. Do you think it's best? But I'm sure there's copper in the mine. My daddy always said there was. There must be. But, Polly, if, if Mr. King thinks it's best to sell, why, that's the thing to do. And I do. Uh, of course, you being my partner, I can't sell unless you agree. Well, what do you say, partner? Shall we sell? Yes, sir. All right. Take these over to Mr. Townsend's office. Fourth floor, Fidelity Building. Mr. Decker, my banker, will meet you there. They'll need you to witness Polly's signature. Come on, Polly. Are you sure you want to sell the mine, Grant? Are you? No, I don't. Then why are you doing it? to avoid going into bankruptcy. Bankruptcy? Yes, I put everything I own into the workings of that mine, including this home. We must sell before it's too late. There's you and your family to think of. I was a fool not to let you sell your share to Townsend before. But I didn't want to. 
I wanted to be partners with you. Yes, I know. But we still have a chance to sell out and save something. All right. I'm sorry, Jessica. Well, I'm not interested in the mine at the present time. But you made us a bona fide offer the other day. Oh, that was the other day. You mean you're not going to buy it now? That's it, exactly. Oh, but you must buy it. You've got to. Oh, please, Mr. Townsend. I'm sure there's copper in the mine, because my daddy said there was, and he knew. I'm sorry. Come, Mrs. Pepper. Come, Polly. I thought you handled that very well. Maybe not so well. What if Decker decides to extend King's note? Have you given that a thought? Sure I have. King is on the verge of bankruptcy. Well, no matter what Decker's personal feelings are, his bank isn't going to sink any more money into anything that they can't get it out of. Now, unless I miss my guess, in 90 days, the bank will foreclose on the mine. And then we can pick it up at our own figure. Is everything taken care of? Yes, sir. Mr. Decker has the papers. I can just picture the smug look Townsend had on his face. You're not sorry we sold the mine, are you? No, sir. Grandpa King, suppose we hadn't sold it. Would it be as bad as you said? I mean, about losing everything in this house, too? I'm afraid it would. Does a person really have to have a big house like this to be happy? Why, of course not. Gee, I'm glad you feel that way. Why? Well, when we lived in the house in Gusty Corners, it was small, but we were happy. Of course, it was awfully hard on Mommy because she had to work. But I took care of the house. I didn't mind because Davy and Joey and Ben helped. You know, we, we had more trouble with that old stove until you brought us the new one. Oh. Oh, I almost forgot. Mommy told Mr. Schumer to sell our old furniture, and I must tell her not to. Polly, what in the world are you talking about? Grandpa King. About Mr. Townsend. He didn't buy the mine. He said there wasn't any copper in it, and he wasn't interested. Look, we could all go back to our house and live, and, and you and Jasper could come along. You just said you didn't have to have a big house to be happy in. And I can take care of you until you get well. We'll talk about it later. I'm sure everything is going to turn out fine. Just fine. Well, hello, J.H. I'm glad to see you up. My, you're looking much better. I feel much better. Hello, Polly. Hello, Mr. Decker. Come on. I can't leave Grandpa King. I'm his nurse, and I got to take care of him. Well, Grandpa won't need his nurse for a little while, so you run along. You know, even a nurse needs a little recreation. Recra, recra. What does that mean? Sometimes you don't ask so many questions. My goodness, I have to ask questions. If I don't, I'll grow up dumb. Get your dolly now. Lovely children. They've been a great comfort to me. Ah, uh, no doubt. What brings you here, Decker? Well, as you know, uh, there are only about 30 days left. And, uh, of course, you realize that... Uh, well, the bank will have to foreclose unless... I'm afraid they'll have to foreclose. Isn't there someone who... Hmm. What about Jasper's aunt? 
Mrs. Wilcox. She could help. She could, but she wouldn't. So I guess you better go ahead with arrangements for the foreclosure. Sell the place and its contents. And I'll turn over what other assets I have. Believe me, J.H., I wish it were in my power to help you. I understand. I'll make all arrangements and I'll notify you when I leave. I'll drop in on you again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Here's your nurse. Grandpa, tell Martin he don't have to carry the tray for me. I'm strong, because I eat my cereal every morning. Don't I, Mommy? Yes, you do, dear. You shouldn't mind Martin. He likes to do those things. Well, he should like to let me do them. Phronsie, dear, will you run along? We want to talk to Grandpa King. Why can't I say? Because we don't want you to hear what we say. I won't hear all stuff my ears. No, you can come back later. Come on. No, no, no. Come on. Will you tell me about three goals? Mm hmm All right. Bye. Bye. Martin, you've been with me a long time, haven't you? Ten years, sir. And a fortnight, to be exact. I don't know how I put up with you all that time. I must have been quite trying at times, sir. Thank you, Martin. I don't know what I'm going to do without you. But you're not thinking of letting me go, sir. I'm afraid I'll have to. Oh, but if I had displeased you in any way, I'm sure this can be rectified. Uh, it's not that, Martin. I can't afford to keep you. I'm giving up my home. We're all going back to Gusty Corners. Gusty Corners? Yes, you remember the house we used to live in. Well, we're all going back there, and uh, Grandpa King's coming with us. Mr. King is going to live in that house? Yes, I'm going to live with him. Polly and her mother have asked me to. Oh, you're going to live there. That should be very nice, sir. Very nice indeed. Couldn't I come along too, sir? Uh, don't you understand, Martin? I couldn't afford to pay you. Oh, but you wouldn't have to, sir. You'll pardon me for being sentimental, but I just couldn't bear to leave the little Pepper children and Jasper. Martin, you're not trying to tell me that you like children. Why, if I remember correctly, when I engaged you, you didn't want to take the position because there was a child in the house. I recall the incident very well, sir. You see, never having had any of my own, I didn't like them. But since I've been surrounded by them, I've got to like them. And now, sir, I, I just adore them. Gee, Graham, we'd love to take Martin with us. You know what? He could sleep with Davy and Joey. You could, couldn't you? Sleep with Davy and Joey? Oh, yes. Yes, sir, that would be, as Jim the chauffeur says, the berries. Gee willikers. Just when a fella thinks everything's all right, it ain't. Yeah, nobody tells you nothing, they don't. I asked Mother why we had to leave here, and all she said was just because. Now you tell me, Ben, why do we have to leave here? Mother told you, just because. Well, gee willikers. Just because there ain't no answer. The trouble with you kids is you ask too many questions. Well, if we'd get a few answers, we wouldn't ask so many. Oh, stop your arguing. Get your things packed. We'll get our things packed. But we won't stop arguing. We'll stop arguing if you tell us why we have to leave here. Oh, shut up. We don't have to. Yeah, we don't have to. All right, then yell your heads off. We don't have to. Yeah, we don't have to. You never seen the old house, did you? Well, it's nice, but not like this one. My goodness, the bathroom where you're going to have to get your bath is small. Not like the big one here. The only thing that's the same is the water. I guess you don't want to leave here, do you? Well, I don't neither. Huh? Why do we have to leave here? I don't know. If I owned her, I asked Mommy. I did. And she said I shouldn't ask so many questions. All right, I'll ask her again. No, wait. Don't go away. Mommy. 
Yes, darling. Now, don't say I'm asking too many questions, because I ain't asking for me. I'm asking for my dolly, because she can't talk. But she wants to know why we have to leave here. Darling, we have to leave. That's all I can tell you. Now, let Mother finish packing, because we're moving in the morning. this house. It's too big. But I like a big house. So did I, but now I find this one is too big for me to stay in. But I don't want to go back to the old house. I don't like it no more. I like it here with you, especially when you tell me stories. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, I feel a salmon coming. You tell me a story about Papa Gold, Mama Gold, and Baby Gold. All right. Once upon a time, there were three goats. There was a papa goat, a mama goat, and a little baby goat. A little baby goat. That's right, you're the little baby goat. And one day, the little baby goat wandered away. Once upon a time, there were three little goats. A mater goat, a pater goat, and a little junior goat. One day, a little junior goat. David, Joey. David, Joey. What do you want? Waking us up in the middle of the night. Where's the telephone? It's ringing and I can't find it. Gee, well, of course, Martin, we ain't got no fool. It's the alarm clock. What's the matter with you? Every morning when it rings, you think it's a phone. Oh, the alarm clock. Hello? Oh, how stupid of me. My goodness, I overslept. Come on, children. Time to get up. Come on. Hi. Hi. David, Joey, arise. Oh, gosh. I can't get up in the morning. Who's in there? You've been in there practically all day. Will you get out? Hurry up, will you? Hey, Mom! Hey, Mom! Hurry up, will you? 
Isn't it odd that I'm always last in line every morning? Hey, come on! juice yesterday and lemon juice today and sauerkraut juice again tomorrow. Aren't you up early this morning? Yes, sir. Mommy had to take the early bus to Crestline. She got her old job back at the factory. I'm going to take care of the house while she's gone. And you have me to add to your burden. You're no burden at all. Really, you aren't. You better drink this before it gets cold. I feel better already. I'll have your breakfast here in just a minute. Don't bother. I feel well enough to come to the table. That shows you what good care will do. You run along. I'll be right down. Gee, that's swell. Don't take them all. Oh, blabbermouth. Hand me the syrup, Phronsie. Pass the syrup, please. Gee willikers, now that we're back home, why do I always have to say pass and please? If you don't say pass and please, you don't get syrup. All right, pass the syrup, please. And you've got to say thank you, too. All right, thank you, too. Well, children, if you'll pardon me, I'll go out and sit in the sun for a while. Shall I help you out, Grim? No, thank you, Jasper. Ben, would you get Grandpa King's blanket, please? Sure. Joey! How many times have I told you too much syrup's gonna make you sick? Just plain syrup, Will, but not when you eat with hotcakes. We like it that way. Well, you're not gonna have it that way. All right, but we won't like it. I'm not through yet. Oh. Martin, will you help us make a teeter totter? Teeter totter? What in the world is a teeter totter? A seesaw, Martin. Seesaw, teeter totter? My word. Uh, will you? Help you make a teeter totter? Very well, I'm quite interested to see what a teeter totter is. Well, let's go in the backyard and make one now. All right. Come on, Martin, this Come is on. fun. Come on. <laughs> what are you going to do? Help with the dishes. Oh, you don't have to. I can do them all right. I want to. It was good to see Grandpa this morning, wasn't it? Yes, it was. You know, Polly, I wish we could stay on here forever. Funny how a fellow can think one way one time and another way another time. What do you mean? Well, when I lived in a big house and I saw poor people living in places like this, I... Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this house is swell, but you know what I mean. Well, I, I used to wonder how people could live like that. But, gee, it's wonderful. All the family together and happy and so much fun. It isn't bad at all being poor. But if... If things were different, if Grant didn't have to give up the mine, and your mother didn't have to go to work, and you didn't have to keep house. We don't mind, really, we don't. I know, but in a couple of weeks, school opens, and you'll have to go, and how will things go on then? You know, Polly, I've been thinking about this, but I didn't want to do it because Grant wouldn't approve, and I think I ought to do it. Do what? Well, you don't know my Aunt Martha. She doesn't like Grant, but she's got oodles of money, and she could easily let him have some of it so he could operate the mine and not lose everything. Do you think she would? Well, I don't know, but anyway, it wouldn't do any harm to ask her. Tell you what, tomorrow morning we'll take a bus and we'll go over and see her. We'll explain everything to her. But uh, not a word of this to Grant. All right. I'll tell you, we'll go right after breakfast tomorrow. Come on, Jasper. I got everything ready to fix up the black pirate. All right, I'll be with you as soon as I finish these dishes. Oh. Go on, Jasper. There's not many more to do, and I can finish them. All right. Go. 
little girl, I go to market. And Ginger, you stay here and watch her. Let me see, what do I have to get? Artichokes, flour, sugar, and spinach. I know you don't like it, but I have to get it. And jam. I can't go more to team without money. Are you sure this is the right address? Yes, madam. Who lives here? I do. Who else lives here? Mommy, Ben, Polly, Joey, G Daisy, Ginger, Prince, Grandpa, Jasper, and Martin. And Martin is so funny. He calls the Papa Goat and the Mama Goat Peter and Mary. Where is Jasper? I'll take you. <laughs> so this is a Peter Totter. <laughs> oh, Jasper! <laughs> Jasper! Ow! Ow! Aunt Martha. Mrs. Wilcox, I thought I'd seen a ghost. I'm surprised if you didn't see a ghost in a place like this. Is the house haunted? Is it? Aunt Martha, what are you doing here? Gee, I'm glad to see you. Where's your grandfather? Here. Gramps has been awfully sick lately, but uh, he's getting along fine now. Polly takes good care of him. Grandpa, Aunt Martha's here. How are you, Martha? Are you out of your mind, bringing the boy to a place like this? You're leaving here with me at once. Now listen, Martha, we went all over that a long time ago. The court awarded me Jasper's custody, and he's staying here with me. They would never permit him to live in filth and dirt. I'm taking him away from here. And I say he's staying here. Please, Grant, I'll go. I, I think I should. You want to leave here? Yes, I do. Well, if you want to go, I guess there's nothing I can do about it. I'll get my things packed. I'll help him pack. Grandpa, can't you stop that light from taking Jasper away? No, darling. Not if he wants to go. But you said you liked it here. You didn't mind being poor. You even said you wished you could stay here forever. Gee, Polly, don't you understand? I'm, I'm only going to Aunt Martha's to talk to her about helping Graham. Don't you see? I'm not going to stay with her. I, well, we were going in the morning anyhow, remember? Oh. Well, now, don't forget. Graham isn't to know why I went. Then you're coming back. Why, sure. Everything all packed? Oh, you forgot some things in the closet. I won't need them. Well, goodbye. Bye and good luck. Don't forget to come back. I won't. Bye. Bye. Jasper? Are you taking Prince, too? If you are, we're going to miss him. We're going to miss you, too. No, Fonzie, I, I'm leaving Prince here with you. Maybe you ought to take Prince, because anyway, I got you. Bye, Jasper. Goodbye. Bye. I'm sorry you're leaving. I'm going to miss you. I'll be back soon, but don't tell anyone. Bye. 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 I don't think I'm crying because I ain't some got my eyes. <laughs> Yeah.
I'm tall. Plus a man, no by saying nothing. I don't suppose we have anything to talk about. I have. Bonzi Pepper, if you're going to ask some silly question, don't. Well, this ain't silly. It's about Tinder. She didn't sleep all night. She didn't. Grandpa? Yes? Could Ginger be lonesome for a prince because he went away with Jasper? Perhaps. Perhaps. Was that a silly question? Children, if you finish, go out and play. I shall drive the dishes for you, Polly. Oh, that's all right. I can do it, Martin. Oh, but I like drying dishes. It's so stimulating. All right. Oh, I have to go to school, too? No, darling. You go to kindergarten. Kinder? Kinder? What's that mean? Oh, my goodness. They're going to get asked some more questions. You see, I don't know very much about it. When Daddy first took me down the mine, I was about Fonzie's age. Mining is a very interesting study. When I was a young man, I was quite a student with a burning desire to become a geologist. You were? I didn't know you knew anything about mines. Oh, yes. But through adverse conditions, I was forced to become a gentleman's gentleman. However, the desire has always been with me, and since I've been with Mr. King, I have continued to putter around with it a bit. Of course, I never spoke of it to Mr. King. He'd think me silly. Would you like to see my daddy's workroom? Workroom? I'd love to. Is it here in the house? It's upstairs in the attic. We never use it. You see, Mummy closed it up when... Come on, I'll show it to you. Well, this is quite a workshop, isn't it? Calcocide. Calcopyrite. Energite tetrahedride. Your father did specialize in copper, didn't he? Yes, sir. Do you know if he made any later drawings of this mine? I don't know, Martin. Uh, he had some in a book somewhere. Oh, here's this one. Copper is a metallic element occurring abundantly in nature and widely used in the arts, both in its pure state and as an essential constituent of many alloys. What's copper? Romans obtained copper from Cyprus, an island in the Mediterranean, and for this reason the metal was known as Cyprium or Cyprian brass, which name later came to be contracted to Cuprum and Cooper. What's copper? All our most important copper deposits are the results of heated water in relation to volcanic activity. But the almost common is calcocite, or copper glance, a sulfide containing about 79.8% of metallic copper. This ore was originally pyrite, but has been altered by hot descending waters containing copper sulfate. Put copper. About 20% is energite, a sulfarsenate of copper carrying about 48% of the metal. About 5% has been recovered from bornite, an altered calcocite, carrying about 63.3% of copper. The remainder has been gained from covellite, calcopyrite, and tetrahedrite. What's copper? Gee, Martin, you're wonderful. Do you know what it's all about? Sure. Oh, you ain't saying that. Yeah. Come on, children, it's time to go to bed. My goodness, what is copper? Now you run along to bed. Look, Martin, seeing you know so much about mines, maybe you ought to go over and take a look at ours. Maybe you'll find the copper vein and Grandpa King won't lose all his money. 
Go to the mine? It's only about two miles from here. Yes, just on the outskirts of town, beyond the creek. We could get there in no time. But we'd need tools and lights and all sorts of things to go in. Betty had all kinds of things. Look, they're still here. Now remember, not a word of this to Grandpa King. Let's see. We could tell him we're going on a picnic and I'll pack up a lunch. What do you say, Martin? Will you? Very well. We go to the mine tomorrow morning. Good night. Good night. Good night, Martin. Gee, Ben. Wouldn't it be wonderful if Martin found the copper vein? Yes, but I think it's kind of silly. After all, Mr. King's engineers and mining experts couldn't find it. Oh. Well, I'll go and see anyhow. Will it be all right to leave you alone? If it isn't, we won't go. Go right ahead, children. Have a good time. I'll be all right. Bye, Grandpa. Bye. 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 Are we all ready now? Yeah. You all ready? All set. You all ready? Righto. Shove off! Aye, aye, sir. Bye, Grandpa. Bye, darling. Ready, children? Already. Come on, then. Take care now. Up the day. Up. <laughs> Hang on now, Francie. Are we all here? Yeah, all yeah, set. Let's yeah. go. Already. Let's go fast. Come on, then. Woo! Yeah, this is fun. fun. <laughs> Hang on now. Woo! Careful, children. Gee, it's dark down here. Yeah. Come on, children. I know. Don't ask them any questions. Did they find anything? Quiet, Franzi. Polly, did you find anything? Shh, Franzi. Baby Joe. 
Charlie, you and Bart come with me. trying to get an airline into them now. But if you're asking me, I'm afraid it's too late. We've been tapping, but we can't get no reply. Grant, what happened? What's the matter? Children were caught in the mine. Well, well, can't we do something? They're doing everything that can be done. Here, Polly. They'll reach us shortly, children. I know they will. I can hear them digging. Can't you hear them? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I hear. Don't lose faith, children. Remember Daniel in the lion's den and Jonah in the whale? They didn't lose faith. I've always heard when people are in great danger that they sing. That's it. We'll sing. Come along, children. Be firm and be faithful. Desert not the right. Come along, children, you know it. The brave become bolder. The darker the night, then up and be doing, though cowards may fail, thy duty pursuing, then all and prevail. If scorn be thy portion, if hatred and loss, if stripes or a prison, remember the cross. Martin, what's that? They reached us! The airline! Fuzzy! Fuzzy! The airline's through. They signal they're all right. Here they come. you can have all the money you want. Thanks, Decker. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your standing by me. Oh, <laughs> forget it. Here. What's this? The deed to your home. I didn't sell it. Could you have sold it? Well, yes. But somehow I had a feeling not to. Sell it. What? You don't want to keep the house? I'm going to build a big house right here in Gusty Corners. You're going to build a house here in Gusty Corners? You bet. Fine people around here. Human. Down to earth. School starts today. Oh, oh yes. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Decker. Good morning, Justin. Good morning, children. Bye. You know your lesson? Uh-huh. With how do you look in my book? That's fine. Now run along. You look your fancy. Says you'll never have to go back to live with Aunt Martha ever again. 
gee, Polly, I'm glad. I'm glad too, Jasper. 